Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about Stephen King's first published short story collection, Night Shift. Um, I'm going to be going through these and connecting the stories that, that I can connect anyways. Um, but also I'm going to leave some stuff out. I'm going to let you guys down there in the comments below tell me stuff that you guys found on your own. You can cheat if you want to and go running around to the Stephen King wiki or to the actual uh, connections page on his website. You can if you want to. I think it'd be more fun if you guys used your actual knowledge and let me know what you caught that I did not mention in this episode down below. If you want to get my full review and read through uh, uh, and all of my catches from this, you can go to uh, goodreads.com. There's a, I'll leave a link down there in the doobly-doo to my review and it'll give you all the connections that I made. So, first and foremost, we're going to go to Jerusalem's Lot, or as it's more popularly, popularly known as Salem's Lot. Um, this, the short story Jerusalem's Lot is far more Lovecraftian than it is vampires or anything like that. It is a very dark um, insidious story. It's all right. I am not a huge fan of the way it's written. Um, it just, I mean, King doesn't write like King in that story. Um, King writes like Lovecraft. I mean, that's exactly what it felt like. Um, and I'm not a big fan of Lovecraft, so I'm not a fan of the story. Um, the funny part about it is that this is one of two Salem's Lot themed stories in this book. And of course, Salem's Lot comes into play with the Dark Tower because of Father Callahan. Um, he's in Wolves of the Kala, Song of Susanna, and I think he, spoilers, and all that, remember, these are spoiler videos, um, he dies in the Dark Tower. Now, the next one is, uh, da -da -da -da, let's see here, Night Surf, I think it is, I'm pretty sure Night Surf is the one from The Stand, if I remember correctly. Hang on, let me go through here, I am the doorway, uh, da -da 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 -da. it's the plague. Yeah, um, this is where the people are on the beach and they're talking about the smell of the smell of the burning flesh from the bodies that they're getting rid of. Um, I found that extremely interesting that he would write a short story, considering how big and vast the stand is, that he would go and write a short story based on that. Um, let's see here. Next up is uh, Gray Matter. Gray Matter is important, and sa same with the Boogeyman, which are both in here. Um, gray matter is important because I believe that Pennywise is a gray, and the thing that leads me to believe that the most is the way Pennywise introduces himself at the beginning of it as I'm either Mr. Bob Gray or Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Um, and gray matter is all about some kind of alien shape-shifting thing, um, and it also ties into, spoilers for The Outsiders, it ties into the end of The Outsider as well because of the, the mass um, that you see in the story gray matter fits the changing of The Outsider in The Outsider. So all these things tie together. I find that really cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, there was one more I wanted to bring up. Let's see here. Uh, one for the Road uh, is the last Salem's Lot story. Um, other than if you go Wolves of the Kala, they go back and they talk a little more about what happened to um, Salem's Lot. But in One for the Road, it's probably one of Stephen King's more frightening stories because if you haven't read, it's, or if you have read, it's, it's more frightening knowing what the thing is. The car breaks down, they end up going out and checking on it, they end up breaking down the outskirts of Salem's Lot and you realize that all these vampires are still running around the area um, and causing havoc and they're still dangerous. And I think there's a, there's a part, uh, it's, this isn't going to be word for word, but he talks about the glowing red eyes in the dark. And I had, I had a blast wondering maybe who from Salem's Lot that was that happened to traipse out, you know, into the sur surrounding area to come see about the broke down car. Anyways, so what connections, what stories connect for you? What connections did you find? I want to know, make this a community thing. Let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.